Uh, let's get over to Bangkok. Andrew Stotts is strategist at Kimeng Securities, the country's biggest stock brokerage. Uh, well, most people are anticipating that we're going to get a, uh, well, a cut in rates. Are you in that camp? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's no reason not to, particularly given the global crisis, but also the flood impact that we had in Thailand. So it makes sense that we would get some cut today. Yeah, let's uh, talk a little bit about the flood and any long-term damage that that has caused here as well. Are we over it, and how long does it take to go through the system, if you don't mind me asking, Andrew? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the, the flood is gone, the damage is done, the rebuilding is probably halfway there as far as people rebuilding their homes. Factories and the like are getting closer and closer to being up to full speed. I would say in a month or so, we'll get up to full speed from the production output of the country. So that's the recovery. And then the last part of it is, to what extent is government going to spend to either stimulate or uh, improve the long-term infrastructure related to the floods? But are they making the right noises, in your opinion, when it comes to that? Well, I think that um, you have to be very careful. If, um, I mean, uh, uh, Thailand is really a flood plain, and that's what makes it such a great rice-producing country. Rice is grown when you flood the fields. So for the government to spend a huge amount of money to alter the, the, the management of water may or may not actually solve the problem. We can see from this last crisis that a lot of it was the management of the water within the dam. So even putting in a, a lot of different infrastructure may or may not solve that problem. When we look long term, though, a lot of Japanese com companies in particular, a lot of also high-tech firms making hard drives, uh, they were seriously affected by what happened in those floods. Do you think that long term people are going to think twice about investing in Thailand? And if so, do you see, it, do you see a negative impact when it comes to foreign direct investment? Well, there's going to be, there, there can't not be some impact, but I don't think it's going to be major. But you take some industries like hard disk drive as an example. That's an industry that had consolidated production in Thailand and had to shift a portion of that outside to service the, the global demand. And I think everybody probably learned some lesson that not to have all your eggs in one basket. And so getting those guys back to Thailand to produce in a real consolidated way is probably unlikely. So we are going to have some hit from that. But the fact is, is that Thailand, this is a 50-year, once in 50-year occurrence. Uh, the second thing is that Thailand's infrastructure is very, very strong for manufacturing. And the, the Japanese know that, and they've built that out. That's not something they're going to just walk away from. Yeah, absolutely. So no real uh, long-term damage coming through when it comes to that. Uh, so when, when we look at the way that uh, you know, Thailand is at the moment reconstructing, etc., do we get an artificially bounce, uh, well, an artificially high bounce in growth rates through this year because the comparatives become that much less? Well, I mean, I think um, we have to be careful because I, I don't think that we're going to get some major bounce in government or personal spending to drive the economy to repair from the, the, the floods. I think it's kind of a slow, steady uh, period of time that there's a recovery. Uh, originally, I thought there would be a, a somewhat of a bounce, but as I look at it, I think it's, it's a slow, steady period of recovery, and then we're back on track to what, what should be a pretty good year for Thailand. We've had domestic consumption being very slow growth for about five years, and we have an unemployment rate that's about 1%. So there is a potential for that domestic demand to start feeding through, but it isn't going to boom right now. So out of 10, uh, what about, what's your rating if 10 is actually uh, the highest uh, for Yin Luck Shinawat in her first six months? Well, I mean, uh, it, it, it had to have been one of the toughest start for any prime minister to walk into a crisis of the flood and then taking a lot of heat for the mismanagement at times of that whole emergency. And now uh, we see a reshuffling of the cabinet and the beginning to kind of move to the next steps. Um, but to me, in some ways, I would say it's a little bit irrelevant because there's just simply not much that anybody can do to change this government. Uh, the military, I don't think, is going to come out to do that. The Democrat Party has lost in the last election. I don't think they have the power to come out and lead a charge. And we know that in May, the two, 111 Thai Rak Thai MPs that were originally banned are going to be, the ban will be lifted and they will reinforce this existing government. And so we're not going to see a change in government. We may just see government muddle along.
Andrew, thank you very much indeed for that. Andrew Stotts there from uh, King Eng Securities joining us there uh, from Bangkok.